In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to system.io in a step-by-step -step video with no steps missed out. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to system.io, we're going to sign into our account and connect this domain. So once you've signed into your account on system.io, you'll be taken to the dashboard and you want to go to the top right hand corner to your profile icon, then go to settings. And here we can go ahead and find custom domains. So you should see it here on the left, custom domains. That will then take you to this page here where you can see you'll have one custom domain active, which will be your username. So in my case, it's bradleyharrison180.system.io. This will be the default one. What we can do is we can go to add domain in the top right hand corner. And now we can add our domain from Hostinger. So if we go over to hostinger.com, we click on login. We can then sign in to the Hostinger backend. Okay, so here I am inside of the backend of Hostinger. What I'm going to do now is go to domains. And here we can see we've got domain selected. And the only domain that I've got on this account is knowledgebasedtutorials.com. So I'm going to copy this domain. I'm going to go back to system.io. Go to add domain where we, where we left off. I'm going to type in www. And then paste in the rest of this domain. Then click save. So now you can see that's been successfully created. And now we just need to add the DNS records to Hostinger, which honestly is very easy. Just follow what I do to a T and this will 100% work. So now you want to go to Hostinger. You then want to again be on the home, be on the domains page, then go to manage. And here you can go to DNS slash name servers. So click on that. Now you can see you've got manage DNS records. Now what you need to do is go ahead and enter in these records here. So we need to enter two different records. So first we're going to go to type and we're going to change it to C name. Now if we go back to system.io, you can see we need a C name record. Now the first thing you want to do is copy www. So copy that. Once you've got that copied, you want to then go to Hostinger. Paste that in the name here. Remove the at sign. So the only thing in this box should be www. Now in the target, we need to go back to um, system.io and you need to then copy everything here. So copy this. And this is just the first one, remember. So target, paste this in, add record. Keep this the same. If it says here that it's not valid or it conflicts with other records, you want to go to other CNAME records, just delete it. So now we've got no more CNAME records here. Now, if we click add record, it should add. So there you go. Now that's added. The next thing you want to do, you want to go back to system.io and we need to do this second one. So you want to copy here everything all the way up to this dot. So don't copy the dot, just copy everything all the way up to the dot. Click copy go and add another record. So we need to change the type to CNAME, then remove the at sign and paste in this here. Now, if we go back to system.io, we now need to paste everything on the right here, including the dot, it's just everything on the right. Then we can paste this in as the target, click add record, and then this should add. So there you go. So now you've essentially linked your domain already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click off this and you can see now it is pending validation. Let's give this a refresh and this can now take up to 24, between 24 and 48 hours. Now, how do we know if we've done this right? Well, here's a quick tip. So if you go and just Google DNS checker and you, you click on the first one, which should be dnschecker.org, you can go to this website here and you can just simply enter in your domain name. So my domain name is knowledgebasedtutorials.com. So we'll copy this and we'll go to DNS checker and we'll type in our domain name. Click search. And if everything is green here, if everything as you scroll down is green, you've done the right thing and it should be connected within 48 hours. System.io have an article on this and even in their article they say, if I can find it here, it can take up to 24, between 24 and 48 hours before the DNS records are fully propagated. But if you followed this tutorial to a T, it will be ready to use between that time frame, and that's how you do it.